Okay, this is an iPhone 4, and I'm going to take out the battery, and we're going to install another battery. There's two little screws here. We use a pentalobe, pentalobe screwdriver. Okay. All right. So... Remove the back. And there's a couple of smaller screws. So you need a tiny, tiny screwdriver. Which you usually get when you buy one of these batteries. First, there's the pentalobe screw, Apple secret screw driver, which you can get when you buy these batteries from Milagro Mac or other manufacturers. And then, there's, you need to pry, pry it up. So, there's some adhesive here. Broken there, that's good. Cheap Chinese stuff. So the. This might come off because it's been there for a while. The battery is adhesive on the bottom, so it's kind of like glued in. Just gonna have to pry it around. Eventually it'll come off. It's been a long time since this battery's been taken off. So that's how you take it off. That's the battery. You need to order another one of these. This is the original one that was in the in the iPhone. I think that's a 1400 milliamp fourteen thirty milliamp kind of hard to see. And then that's the model number, Apple's part number. It's a six one six zero five seven nine. That's the actual Apple part number. So the replacement is just going to be replace another battery and to install 
re reinstall the the screws. It's always handy to have a little something to hold the screws in. So that's that. We'll get back to putting the battery in. And thanks to this guy, we have iPhone, Apple computer, Stephen Jobs. I'm going to use the same battery, but the installation process, there's this little goodie here, is the same. It's a tiny little... kind of a, a little clip that has a little piece of copper on the back. Just a conductor. That may be kind of hard to see. So it's basically the new battery will of course have some adhesive on the back. This is going to go back here. I'm going to press it down. These screws back in there. Can you use the tiny Phillips? Then that's back in there, but that's 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 just the old battery until we get the new battery. You can get higher capacity batteries to a little bit more money. They're like twice as much. You're doing ten dollars and twenty dollars. This is going to slip back in here. It slides back in. Okay, so after you slid that back in, then you take the pentalobal screwdriver. Try to screw that back in. Everybody can be a compete a little iPhone technician. The first Apple computer I took apart was a Macintosh SE and installed two 20 megabyte hard drives. Years, years later. I worked on a couple iPods that had hard drives in them and started to do that. I don't really do that type of work, but everybody loves to do this now. There's just people all over the world fixing their iPhones and fixing their screens. Thanks to this guy right here. Well, that's that, and they're probably not going to power on because I haven't charged it up yet. So it's, it shows that it would be charging. So you would have to charge it up. But that's the take apart. At least that's my take apart put back together.